Yo, you already know what it is, man. Big Sean, good music, Def Jam. Checking out this is 50.com, you already know what it is. Childhood, you know, um, I grew up in a single parent house, um, just me and my mom. My dad was always around me. And my mom and dad remained friends, you know, just because of me and my brother. But um, it was a very good upbringing, you know what I'm saying? They tried to keep me, I, I'm from Detroit. Everybody know Detroit is like super hood. So they tried to keep me out the, the hood, hood as much as they could. They sent me, when I was younger, they sent me to like private school. You know, they sent me to like, uh, the private school I went to specialized in art and poetry. So that's where I kind of started getting a love for poetry. They used to make us do it like every morning. And that's when I started rapping when I was about like 11 or 12. And, uh, you know, it was a cool upbringing, man. You know, uh, definitely had didn't have money like that at all. You know, it was a struggle, but uh, it worked out pretty good. Though. Man, it's a dream come true. It's crazy because I used to ride to high school listening to Kanye uh, all the time with people like Jay for real, and like now working with him, you know, it's just kind of like unbelievable. I hate when people will always be like, man, you know, if you dream it, you can do it, da da da. But man, you really, if you really like put it out in the universe, like you can really make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? But working with Kanye is amazing, man. He's a one of the, how can I say it, most particular people I've ever met. He's very into his work. Um, he critiques it. You know, he nitpicks at it till it's just right. And one of the things he taught me was when he was working on the graduation album, that's like right before I signed the Good Music. Uh, he took me on the road with him for like a few months as I was making the album. Basically teaching me how to make an album right before he signed me. And uh, that was one of the biggest lessons I've ever learned from him. And you know, he's definitely my mentor, definitely like person I look up to greatly. But yes, yeah, so Famous is gonna be the title of the album because that's been my whole shit for years. You know what I'm saying? Finally Famous, First of all, Finally Famous was, is my crew at home where, you know, basically we're a group of people who all came together. We were just like friends since high school. We were real popular. A, a lot of us do music. Uh, some of us do acting. Some of us are on the business side. So basically, you know, the whole concept of being Finally Famous is when you're famous, you recognize we're doing something great. We put Finally in front of it just to symbolize, like, man, we work for this. This is what we work for. So whether it be like you rapping and you being recognized for you finally famous. If you just in school and you getting good grades, you being recognized for you finally famous. And everywhere in between. If you just on your shit, if you're on your job, you finally famous. So that's my hope. That's what I live by, man. So I don't care who's saying whatever about finally famous. Like that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Been my shit. So everybody who's talking about finally famous now is on some whole, I don't know where that's coming from. Um um, real heartfelt music, music that I made, you know, in the middle, but between the time where I rapped for Kanye and when I got signed was like two and a half years. So like, you know, as I graduated high school, I, let me tell you, I graduated high school, I wasn't no nerd or no shit, but I graduated with like a 3.7 I was like ready to go to school, college. College was fun, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I visited college and like wanted to go. I had like a damn near a full ride to Michigan State. But uh, you know, Kanye hit me up and was like, man, you know, you either you could do he was like, you could do both. I encourage you to do both if you want, but you can either you might fuck up in music or you might fuck up in school trying to do both. So I chose music because I figured this opportunity doesn't come around. But it still took like about two years after that. So in those two years, I was like at the crib, all my friends was at school. It was like a real depressing time for me. Cause I'm like at the crib, like what the fuck, you know, I'm waiting on like the labels and shit and trying to start this buzz and blah, blah, blah. But that's when I made, that's when I hooked up with these producers, Right Tracks. And that's when I made a lot of the skeleton of Finally Famous the album. But I think that's when your best work comes out when you're like uh, going through situations like being broke, like while well, having to scrape up change at McDonald's at, at four in the morning cause you're in the studio spending all the money, little money you had and shit. So, you know, it's just those type of feelings are on Finally Famous, the album, along with a lot of new feelings. You know what I'm saying? I hooked up with, like, Pharrell on there, hooked up with The Dream, uh, Kanye did a few tracks. 
Right Tracks, um, who else? A couple other producers, but I really feel like people can expect heartfelt music that they can relate to. It helps artists like me. You know, the internet is a tool that can get your shit around the world like in a second, you know what I'm saying? So without the internet, I wouldn't be shit. This is what I know. I think it's uh, hurtful to labels just because I don't think labels have learned all the way to adapt to the internet, you know. I think they, they're relying on record sales and there's other ways that they can get money, but I think they're starting to catch on. And uh, so I, I think it's just changed. I don't think it really hurts it. I just think it's a different time. You can't sell 10 million records, but you can get different license, licensing deals. You could motherfucking get different type of deals. You know what I'm saying? Digital deals, different type of shit is going on. So I feel like it's just ever, you know, evolution. Man. That you have to build your own buzz. Man. Um, my advice I can give to any rapper or any artist, well, you stay humble and you also can't wait on anybody. I learned that the hard way by trying to wait on people, but like you gotta build your own buzz and take advantage of this internet thing because you can do it. If you got talent, you can do that shit. If you do something different, the camera is eventually gonna get to you, you know? So that's my biggest advice. And uh, get a lawyer. That's another one. You can also hit me up on my website, which is like my daily blog. I got all my shit on there, Twitter, Facebook, and it's www.youknowbigshine.com. It's U K N O W B I G S E A N. Break world records, grinding, Ryan Sheckler. Since I signed a con, I'm Louis Vuitton Shine. Up in Benny Hahn, Hahn, eating all the wine time. Rose, 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 or a little Shine Don. Put her hands down my pants, now she rocking Shine John.